I think he made it, I mean, a very successful pro debut tonight on HBO. And I think he's ready for bigger and better fights. Ready to face any of the top fighters in the 126 pounds. And why not? One of the world champions by the end of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Jojo Diaz. Hello everyone. Uh, Jason Velez was a tough competitor. Uh, he kept at it. I knew going into the fight, uh, Jason Velez was going to come 110% uh, ready. I knew that uh, there was a lot at stake for both of us. I mean, Jason Velez just came from a loss, so I knew that he wanted to bounce back and be a contender in, in the 126 pound division. So I knew it was a very tough fight for me. Uh, I want to thank Golden Boy Promotions, HBO Boxing, and uh, Rock Nation for giving me all this great opportunity to showcase my skills on HBO. Um, I gave it a uh, 110%. I bit down. I threw a lot of shots, and uh, I felt like I was the the more aggressor and it was landing the more effective shots in there. So, I, uh, man, it was a dream come true. It was a real blessing, and uh, hopefully, I get to fight on HBO once again. Don't let the baby face fool you. <laughs> I want to thank real quick uh, the WBC and ABF, Dwayne Ford, his son Travis, the supervisor, HBO, Rock Nation for this opportunity to be on this tremendous main event. And of course, Team Diaz and Team Velez, Miguel Cotto Promotions, Ralph Heredia, Mr. Diaz, Ben Lira, the whole team, everybody. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Hey Jojo, uh, what grade would you give your performance uh, tonight? Actually, I grew myself in A. Uh, I was able to show everybody that um, I'm a warrior inside the ring. I mean, I got cut in the second round. Uh, that didn't phase me at all. I still bit down and uh, kept that in, kept at my 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 pace, my own pace. I knew that uh, Jason Velez was wanting to be more aggressive every single round, but I still always kept my composure and was landing the effective shots in there. So I grew myself in A. I know that I could uh, still improve, and I know that I could still get better. I mean, I'm still 23 uh, years young, so there's a lot to learn in this boxing game. Uh, so I, I'm just going to go back to the drawing board and go back to training camp and uh, listen to my father, Joseph Diaz Sr. and Ben Lira, and uh, just constantly get better. In your opinion, what do you feel made the difference in the fight? I felt like... Um, I was a little stronger in there. I felt like I was a little stronger there, and I was hitting them uh, with uh, punches and punches whenever I threw. Whenever I threw, and uh, I was hitting them with shots where he wasn't expecting I was going to be throwing them at. And uh, whenever he wanted to be aggressive, I was letting him be aggressive. But then I'll throw a, sh a power shot, and I'll and I'll land it pretty effective, and he'll back off. And that's when I was able to create my own distance and land more effective shots in my combinations on the inside. Hey, Robert. How do you want to position him now? Because 126 has a lot of guys. So how do you want to move him now? Forward? Well, I think I think obviously uh, next week new rankings come out. He'll move up in the rankings. Um, we'll start targeting the world champion, and it's not going to be a world uh, any world champion going to say, "Yeah, I want to fight Joseph Diaz." We're going to have to probably get in the mandatory position. But he showed what he has. He wants the titles, he wants to fight the best, and that's where we go. Being that he is so young, is there a hesitation in throwing him in so quickly into these situations? Do you want to groom him a little bit more, or do you feel like you're ready to just throw him in there? The experience comes from, the, from being a U.S. Olympian. Um, he has the experience. The grooming has been the last three years, maturing, progressing little by little, stepping up. Today he stepped up, it was a big step. Not only because it was an HBO debut, but because he fought an experienced fighter in Jason Velez, who had already fought for the world title, who had held the silver WBC silver belt, and I think he he got a great. I mean, he's you know an A. I think he's ready. By the end of this year, if the title opportunity is there, he's ready not to fight for the world title, to win the world title. Jojo, did the the plan that you had coming into the fight were you able to implement it? during the fight, is that how you envisioned the fight going? Yes, I envisioned, uh, I actually envisioned Jason Jason Velez trying to 
move around and box me a little more, but I seen that uh, he was trying to be the aggressor in there. And uh, me and my father, we had two game plans. We had uh, either him wanting to move around and I could cut off the ring, which I did a little bit in there when he started moving around. But uh, if he wanted to be in there, I would uh, block and counter and land my effective shots in there. So I was ready for whatever Jason brought to the table. Um, I felt like I probably could have landed a little more effective jabs on the outside, made, um, created a more opportunities with my jab, and uh, landed a vicious uppercut. I did in the in the tenth round. Uh, I baited him in. I was throwing my jab, and then I landed a pretty good uppercut. I probably could have did that in the earlier rounds, but uh, I, I just I wasn't thinking about it. But um, like I said, it's just all experience, and I'm just going to go and listen to my father and uh, learn from it.